vaina. All right, fellas. We got ourselves a high output alternator. Chromed out. Looks pretty nice, just from the first gla uh, first glance at it. Paid 159 from Southwest Performance, or SouthwestPerformanceParts.com. If you want to check them out, this one's supposed to be a uh, 220 amp, and I'll probably scan this and put this on the screen for you. Oh no, this looks good. This claims that it can do. The max voltage or the voltage set point is 14.43 volts, right? You can pause it here if you like. Here's the performance curve, all that bullshit. Not even signed. <laughs> but uh, I was, you know, hesitant, so went down to O'Reilly's and have them test it. Here's the paperwork they provided. They had to use a different type of. Uh, alternator part number but this is the stats they gave us so the high is 15.6 volts which i'm assuming is pretty good i don't have an animator with me to test the amperage so i'm just gonna i guess take it with them and assume it's all correct but this is a pretty sweet looking alternator i didn't want chrome at first i actually just wanted like a black one but this is all I had at the moment, and I needed an alternator with higher output, so here we are. It is a four pin one with a single wire. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy in the truck. So changing an alternator is pretty easy, especially in my truck. Uh, first we take off the air intake. Well, that's the side, really. Okay. Next, you take a uh, 15 mil socket ratchet. And loosen up the tension on the pulley. Like that. Next up, you remove the two bolts that hold the alternator in. And behind your alternator, you got this little boot, which mine mine ripped off a long time ago. Take a 10 mil, loosen her up. <laughs> loosen it the right way. Don't lose that little nut. Last but not least, you unplug your four pin connector right here. Okay, now that the whole thing is loose, we can pry off the alternator. You can use anything, whatever you have. The pry tools are extremely wonderful for these kind of things. Not, I don't know. SOL, I guess. Oh, there she is. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Don't look that bad. This one actually almost looks a little bigger. Hmm. Looks like the pulley's even bigger. Let's check that out. All right, so the ends side I try to measure it okay we'll call that 55 and a half millimeters by the way yeah 55 and a half this one is well, it looks like it's a hair bigger but not that much bigger the alternator itself does look bigger though. That is kind of interesting. 
this one uh, looks like it doesn't have this bottom piece right here. Well, yeah, it does. It's just look, I guess just the design's a little different, that's all. I think overall it's the same, same alternator. Just, I don't know, am I tripping or does that look, yeah, this thing is bigger, just by a little bit. Ooh, let's see how it fits. Let's see. Oh shit, that thing slid right in. Damn, that thing looks different. Heck yeah, look at that thing. Makes everything in here look dull. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just check the pulley. Make sure it thing fits on here. A little tight to do, make it work. Oh yeah, I could glove. Put our rubber boot back on. Make it till you make it, boys. Am I right? <laughs> you know, I really don't like chrome. This little thing's kind of growing on me. Looks nice. Looks like it might be a little taller. Uh. Might have some hood clearance issues, maybe, maybe not. Hmm, Let's see if we can find out. <laughs> I totally don't have any uh, clearance issues. Oh, I guess I need to buy another hood. Let's see if we can't help out this alternator a little bit. Oh. Hmm. Let's cut it here, 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 and here. Ugh. Fucking cancer there, probably. Hmm. Besto still a thing in 2002? <laughs> Let me know, fellas. Oh shit, looks like we gotta completely maybe cut this out if we have to. Hopefully it's gonna scratch our new one. Let's see if that does something. camera I need to see where it hit exactly all right we uh, waited for the Sun to go down a little bit because uh, you know here in Texas it is 100 degrees every day with like 100% humidity <clears throat> so it's funny I never realized it but I guess this piece of um, hood has always been eating away at my alternator I just didn't care enough about it. So we're gonna do a little bit of surgery. Hopefully we don't fuck nothing up too bad.
cool, doesn't it? Just doing it like that. help you, you can see though can't you can you guys see that let's see you put y'all or you can see it if you can yeah uh, it's right here I think it's actually touching <laughs> I think it's touching Damn, let's get the camera inside. That works. Press down all the way. So, I reviewed the footage and Looks like we barely clear it, just enough. So I'm happy with it for now. We'll have to see how it plays out with all the vibration in the future when I drive next time. But uh, uh to finish this off, I guess, um, we have a really crappy looking hole, so we can uh, hide it with spray paint. <laughs> it's not the best, I know, but I really don't know what else to do other than take this whole asbestos heat shield thing off, you know? I don't know. Cow hood definitely will come in the future because I don't like the way that looks. Yeah, but chrome alternator. I guess we gotta clean all this crap up now and make it look pretty. Well, that's it on the video, fellas. Nothing really much more to add. It's just an alternator. It's nice and shiny and it looks good. Appreciate for you guys watching. Uh, for any of my more interested followers here, sorry I haven't been uploading videos in a while i've just been kind of busy just had a kid so you know that takes a lot of time precedence and i also started picking up knife making and stuff you know it's nothing i don't plan on making videos out of it or nothing i just uh you know just something on the side to play with like uh the walking dead season 10 just finished it i know i don't judge but i made one of those knives that uh daryl has you know when he stabs uh that big dude i forgot his name already you know, one of these knives. You guys will know if you watch it. Um, so I made two of them. They're not done yet, but I'm making other knives and stuff and just messing with a bunch of stuff at home, you know, so. Uh, but truck's in the garage. It's gonna stay in there for a while. I have a lot of parts that are actually um, waiting to go in the truck and I'm hoping to make a bunch of videos now. I cleaned out my garage so the truck will fit in here nice. No one can mess with it and stuff, but yeah, new videos to come. As always, thank you guys for sticking around and uh, see you next time. China.